hello everyone today i'm going to take you through how to enroll through the matt abacus website all you have to do is visit the website www.mattabacus.sc.ug perfect uh, once the page loads click on apply now Uh, today I'll take you through for a continuing student who has done some papers with Matt. So all you have to do, click on I forgot my password. Put in the email address that you've shared to Matt in your previous enrollment. Press OK. Now um, you will receive a verification code on your email. So go on and log into your mail. Copy the verification code. Paste the verification code here. Reset your new password. Endeavor to put a strong password that has uh, about eight characters with numbers, function, uppercases, and lowercases. Confirm your, your new password, then submit. Once you've done that, it will take you back to the original page put your email address once again and the new password that you have created Perfect. Now you have a Matt Abacus student account which has all the statements. To enroll for new papers, go to My Courses. If you are switching from one course, uh, course maybe probably CPA to SCCA, enroll onto a new course. If you are on the same course, you add, add more papers. All right, click on enroll onto a new course. Select course program, for example, CPA. Select the deity, for example, CPA, December 2024. Select papers of interest, for example, um, financial accounting, evening, and maybe quantitative techniques. Evening. You'll be billed on the total amount for both papers. Click on enroll now. You receive a notification to confirm your uh, the enrollment confirmation. On the dashboard, it will show you the amount, the number of papers enrolled, and the total amount continue to make payment perfect choose the payment option for example uh, mobile money under school pay or card or bank transfer I'll choose mobile money for this time put the number that you've deposited money on to confirm your payment you receive a notification you receive a notification on your phone to confirm or to approve your payment okay in your student account there are quite a number of items that are going to be useful 
or in your student portal, there are quite a number of items that are going to be useful. For example, if you need to change your profile, uh, if you need to generate your EID, if you need to check on your statement, if you need to make outstanding balances. All right, under the student portal, uh, on the dashboard, it will give you the number of courses that you've enrolled for with Matt Abacus. It will also give you the number of enrollments that you've done with Matt Abacus. It will show you the total enrollment amount that you've done with Matt Abacus. It will show you the total amount paid to Matt Abacus. It will show you balances pending in your student enrollment with Matt Abacus. Under my courses, it will show you the number of papers that you've enrolled for, the total amount of, of uh, the total amount of money that you're supposed to pay to Matt Abacus, the status of payment with Matt Abacus. And it will give you the options to add more papers if you are intending to enroll for more papers the eid it will it will identify you by a picture it will show you the deity that you you have enrolled with with matt abacus the number of papers that you have enrolled for with matt abacus and the issued date this id is printable so for you to access the matt abacus premises you can print it out and have it saved under payments it will show you the number of the number of courses that you've enrolled with matt abacus the status of payment <clears throat> with matt abacus the amount paid with matt abacus uh, for example in this status uh, it shows i've enrolled for uh, with matt abacus under this uh, to do see computer based exams and the, the amount is 105 pounds and I've also enrolled to do uh, CPA papers uh, amounting to 500,000, but in this stage, it is a pending payment. Under my profile, it will give you editable details about the student. For example, if you need to change your profile picture, it gives you the option to, to change the profile picture. All you have to do is to click on take photo You can use your phone, you can use your computer, all right. Um, the green confirms the proper position of the photograph. Okay, once you've uploaded your photograph, the, the details here are already submitted to Matt. So in case you would want to change your password, you give an option to change your password below here. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we'll be in support in case of anything.